Hello, my name is Toshiki Hatano. I am a graduate student for Kansai University. I introduce my research image classification with additional non decision labels using self supervised learning and GANs. Here's today's agenda. We will begin with an abstract of the entire study. Next, we will introduce studies that are related to this study. I will then introduce the proposed methodology and discuss the results of the study. We conclude with a conclusion and future perspective. Abstract The motivation for our research is to expand the scope of adoption of image classification algorithm. However, there are several problems in adapting current image recognition algorithm to the real world. One of those problems is that the model are unreliable. Image recognition model will falsely label whatever the input is. That is, they force the model to answer question, even if undecidable image. Therefore, we propose a training method to verify whether the input image is worthy of recognition or not. Introduction We believe there are two major problems with current image recognition models. The first is that while the accuracy of the model is certainly very high, they don't define how to handle unknown images. Our research has shown that when you input a meaningless image, to an image recognition model. The model is quite confident that it will mislabel it. This means that it is difficult to exclude images beyond their like holes. Secondly, the performance of a training model is greatly degraded when the training data contains poor quality data. Of course, the accuracy of a machine learning model depends greatly on the quality of the data. It was trained on. In other words, if incorrect data is entered during training, the model is affected by the bias and its accuracy is degraded. We offer the following solution to these two problems. One is to train the model to respond to anonymous data as it is entered. The other is to use the subtask during training to remove poor quality image from the training data. Related works. We introduce 
two deleted works. These are used for our research. First, unsupervised representation learning by prediction image rotations. Second, she can, that is conditional can. We will first introduce unsupervised representation learning by predicting image rotation. This is used in semi-unsupervised learning and is based on the premise that the CNN is divided into two parts, a feature extraction part and all connection layer. We train the feature extraction part using a subtask for unraveled images. The subtask used here is to predict the number of degree of rotation of the image. We assume that the CNN future extractor is trained when the model successfully reads the number of degree of rotation of the image. By using this feature extractor for the main task, we can train it with this less leveled data. The next one I'm going to introduce is an image generation technique called CGAN. Usually, GAN evaluates whether it is generated by machine learning or not. But in this case, if there is not enough training data, it is not possible to train adequately. So we enhance the performance of the classifier to evaluate whether it has been evaluated by machine learning or not in order to padding the data. As shown, in the table, we add a label to the image and let it be judged as accepted only if the image is not generated by machine learning and has the correct label. This allows us to label image that we don't want to generate with other names and use terms as training data. We introduce proposed methodology. We define three steps. First, extracting difficult to discriminate images for models using subtasks. Second, B generate non-decision images by Shigan. Third, training of models with the ability to identify indistinguishable images. This section provides an overview of the proposed methodology. Section A uses a subtask to sort out the low quality images from the training data. Section B amplifies the selected low quality images, images that are difficult to use for classification. In section C, we train the model by mixing these images with the data 
from the unknown images and labeling them as unclassifiable. Section A involves removing low quality material from the image data. In this case, we trained on a rotate version of the image's data and removed images that were wrongly predicted as low quality images. Section B amplifies the image data extracted in Section A. However, the amount of image data removed in Section A is very small and can't be trained from this date alone. Therefore, we make use the CGAN introduced in related research section. By using CGAN, we can generate an image from a small amount of image data. In section C, you will actually train the model. We collect all of the low quality data taken from section A. The data taken from section B unamplified. And the data taken from other image training data. And label them as difficult to determine. By using data as training data, the model is able to classify the incoming images as poor or difficult to decide. decide. When they are given to it into a new difficulty level, we introduce extracting difficult to discriminate images for a model using TabSax result. We use that set for Cypher 10. Total images number of 45,000. We can take long data, 294 numbers of images. We introduce some long images, truck and dog and airplane. We can understand that images is difficult to decide level by human. We introduce generated non decision images by Shigan Result. Shigan make these images. I think these images cannot good. We need to improve this section. Finally, we introduce training of models with the ability to identify indistinguishable images result. We use training data, Cypher 10, and ImageNet. We use test data, Cypher 10, and Cypher 100. Our proposed methodology's error rate is 0 0.165, but existing method's error rate is 0 0.590. We can 
improve error rate. Finally, we introduce conclusion. Our proposed method succeeded in adding the ability to assess the quality of the data entered into the model itself. The images generated by GAN is not so good, so I want to improve it. We are currently examining whether we can improve the performance further by improving the loss function. Thank you for listening to our presentation.